Good morning everybody. Today it is Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I was still feeling like trash and uh, I did nothing except go to the Apple Genius Bar and get my iPhone fixed. It seems to be working. I'm in the process of transferring everything over. Pray. I might have a new phone working that's working soon. But today I am in the car with Lauren. I'm really annoying her today and it's really fun. <laughs> I've never known someone to have so much energy. I don't normally. This is the first morning that I haven't felt completely awful. Um, so I think my body and mind are just like in a very happy space. Bad. I'm literally like that. I'm just like, That's what I'm it's constantly like, like shedding tears. <laughs> What is life? I'm actually crying. I'm just so happy to not... I actually have energy and it feels really good. I also did have the world's biggest coffee, which I think the two have just like collided and it's a very interesting mix. But anyway, I'm actually crying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god, actual tears. So this morning we have shot uh, something for Glamour magazine. So I'll link to that when it goes up. I'll shout about it because I like to do that. So we've shot that this morning and now I'm going to get my hair cut because the 22 inch hair extensions need to be not 22 inches anymore because it's just too much for me. And it does get to the point where I do just want to cut all my hair off. And when it gets to that stage, we know we just need to have a little trim. So that is what I'm booked in for this morning. Although I think I'm gonna have to have my tapes reinstalled at some point soon because they're really growing out of my head. Oh no. Probably should have done that at the same time, but I forgot. And when we booked this appointment, they weren't that bad, but they're just growing. My hair is growing, which is great. My little bits are growing. I'm so happy. This is my broken hair. So yeah, really, really happy about that because I love going to the hairdressers. And then I'm gonna get my nails done after because they're in need. They're growing out quite substantially. Um, but I really like the shape and the kind of neutral colour so I think I'm going to keep that and like the length. Um, I need to have my toes done as well because that is a... Yeah, but we can do that this thing. When do you want to do it? But they're like so overgrown right now. <laughs> like... I had to take mine off, I told you. So yeah, I need to go to the nail place. It's like a whole pamper day for Suze which is great. I'm very, very happy about it because... Uh, I literally spent the entire weekend like not doing any makeup, no skincare, didn't brush my hair literally the whole weekend because I couldn't move. So it just feels really good to be like doing TLC. So yeah, very happy. Let's get on with the day because I feel like I've rambled so much. Oh, and I also filmed the start of my skincare routine this morning. So that is coming if you, you won't. Actually, you might have seen it already. I'll link to it. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Bye. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I just gotta go. <laughs> because I can't have Chitty 4 to 7 anymore. <laughs> I forgot to vlog in the hairdressers, but it's short enough. It's very curly right now. I'm waiting for it to drop, to be honest. Oh, yeah, but uh, excited to not be covered in hair anymore as much. Sorry, I had to stop filming then. Someone was right up my ass. It's all going on today, but uh, next up is nails. These are cute. I'm happy with these. Aww. Hello, everybody. I'm home. I have just had some lunch. And I thought that I would show you a few things. Firstly, I will link my red lip in the info box below. I've just eaten some chocolate buttons, which is why I'm looking kind of funny. That and my cold. Really not doing great things for me, to be honest. But yeah, I'll link this red lip in the info box. But it is, I might as well just show you because I know where it is right now. It is this one by, by Killian, which is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's got like the K on the bullet, which I just love. It's like a really gorgeous matte red. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing now. I just wanted to Insta story that, so I popped it on. I'm also wearing a new cardigan, which I'll show you in a sec, which is from Lorna's new range from In The Style. And I really, really love it. So let me show you. It's like a wrap cardigan. I really like it. I feel like In The Style have like knitwear that is very, very affordable. Um, and it's like really nice quality. And yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, shout out to Lorna for making 
a really cute little wrap top. I also need to start sorting out some bits in here now that I'm in here. I need to tidy that rail and I have some deliveries to unbox. Basically ordered a few bits for some videos. So yeah, just for like trialing fashion videos, that type of thing. Yeah, very excited for those, but I need to like get them all unboxed. But I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I picked up this week. I always end up doing this in uh, October, just like, hmm, what can I put you on? That's all right, we'll roll with this. Yeah, I always end up doing little hauls like these, like in bits in October. I guess it's normal. So I always like pick bits up just like as I see them. First thing, it's, like this is the only like fashion item. There's a new pair of leather boots. I really love these. These are from ASOS. I really hope they look cute. I'm gonna try them on for you now as well, rather than just being like, these are my boots. Yeah, they're from ASOS. I'll link them in the info box below. They're kind of like higher on the leg than I would normally go for, so these could be a bit hit and miss. I actually don't have anything that comes this high up on my leg, so I'm really excited to try this on. And I really like the kind of not super shiny croc finish and then also this very like square thin heel and then it's got a very square toe as well i really like it i think it is quite a modern take on black boot and i'm really excited to try those on but yeah i ordered those and winter boots don't really excite me so much i know some people love them i've got like a good like wardrobe of like different heel boots and different heights so i don't really need much to be honest but that was the one thing that i really felt like would make a nice addition and something that i didn't have like i have like a brownie pair that are kind of like snake print and slightly square but um i didn't have any like black boots that were quite simple like that and not chunky heels like all of my black boots i'm trying to look for a pair of black boots in this wardrobe that aren't chunky heels and i don't have a pair so this will be a really nice kind of boot that i wear for like work meetings and that kind of like smart cash dinner slash night out that kind of thing where you want to like look nice but not be like super dressy i think it will be perfect for those and it looks like it could be a good boot to wear with dresses so basically long story short i will stop rambling i think they're going to be a good all-rounder as long as they fit nicely on my legs so we shall see but the next thing i picked up is from zara and i'm really struggling to open it to be honest <laughs> i don't know how this is why is this so difficult i'm just gonna I'm just gonna rip it though so I can't remember if I've mentioned it in a vlog before, maybe ages ago, but I really love the Zara Signature Collection Home Fragrance. It's really, really beautiful. I have it in my hallway in the diffuser and it's running out, so I decided to pick the diffuser up again, but I also decided to get the candle that goes with it because I literally haven't bought candles in such a long time. Like I get gifted them, like birthdays and Christmas, but I have a really nice small collection of candles, which is something I really like because it's not very overwhelming. Things that I'm learning in life don't have too many things because they're overwhelming but yeah one of my autumn candles was about to bite the dust spit its last flame whatever little analogy you want to use but yeah it was basically at the end of its life so i was like okay we have space for one more and i decided to pick up this one which is the signature collection i don't really know what you call it they have little lines so there's one line that has like a single line and a cross through it and then there's one that has two lines and a cross through it but i don't really know what they call it and it doesn't say on the box so i don't really know but um, I'll try and link to them on the Zara home site if I can. But it basically comes on a little dish and just is like very simple, but I'm not buying into it for its design. I basically just love the smell. It's the best smell in the whole entire world. Like I just want them to do an actual like human beings fragrance of it. There's an Armani Privé fragrance that smells very similar, very expensive, dying to get my hands on it. Yeah, it smells beautiful. So uh, I decided to pick that up so I can burn that just kind of around the house because obviously I don't really move my diffusers around. But yeah, super excited about that. And then picked up their diffuser as well. It's not actually this big, it's about that big, I'd say. But I have it in my hallway and it smells so beautiful. So I couldn't be without it when I ran out. Yeah, so I picked that up super happy with that purchase just really happy that they keep it in store and it's not like a one-off thing because i would be so sad and then i also got myself a new black frame because i have some picks that i want to frame and i love these ones from zara home that are like a black metal frame and they're just clear they're just really simple really nice and easy very very timeless and i'm very happy with my purchases so that is it for new little things that i have picked up and now i'm just gonna sort through my deliveries 
uh, and kind of unbox them ready for tomorrow. I'm hoping that I'll get to film with them tomorrow at some point. I'm meant to be dropping Ryan to the airport right in the middle of the day, which is very, very inconvenient. How dare he? I'm just kidding for anyone that doesn't understand sarcasm. But yeah, because of that, I need to just like prep today so that everything is ready tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just gonna sort through some things and give my brain some off time for a minute. And I'll be back with you in a little bit because I wanna show you my wardrobe and the results of Carla coming to sort it out because I haven't showed you that yet. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten to show you the boots. I really like these. You can just see kind of here is where they finish. Yeah, they're really cute. I like them. They're like badass boots without being too aggressive. Yeah, I'm really happy with these. I like how square the toes are and how thin the heel is, but they're actually really comfortable considering the heel, because it's thin, it looks, I think, a lot higher than it actually is. So, um, yeah, I like the fact that the heel is thin, so it just gives that illusion of, like, being a little bit higher. Yeah. Very cute, really happy with these. The fit is good as well, I got my regular size and they fit fine. But yeah, great. work I thought I would show you how my wardrobe is looking after Carla has worked some magic on it sorry my wardrobe doors are broken I'm still waiting for those to be fixed as well so yeah this is I didn't really get to do it before but this is the after of my wardrobe I'm really really happy with it I love like just how much like movement the clothes now have I just love how it looks so we've got my knitwear that I wear the most hung uh, which I know is like a thing that you shouldn't do, blah, 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 blah. But actually, I find that I wear things more when they're hung up. And what's the point in having clothes if you forget to wear them? So they're on the hanger. And because they get worn like daily, it shouldn't affect the shape too much. I think it's when you've got very thick, strong hangers on certain types of knitwear, it really can like make a dent. But these ones I've always found, I've had these hung up when I was in my last property and I didn't find the... They had dents in them at all. The ones that I knew would get dents are somewhere over here. So yeah, along the top row we have like lighter jackets, blazers, that kind of thing. Going into knitwear, going into kind of light tops that are a bit smart. And then we get into dresses and things like that as we go further back. And I'll show you the other side in a second. And then down here we have trousers. Um, I'm actually missing a pair so this kind of looks a bit messy. I'm wearing them. And then we have like jackets and then t-shirts uh, and like a couple of hoodies as well. So this is kind of almost sorted in the way that I style things. So I would generally style like a kind of knitted top and a blazer um, or a light top and a blazer. And then I would generally do like a pair of trousers with a t-shirt and a jacket that's like a little bit more casual and that's very much my vibe so we've kind of tried to group things by how I would wear it and also just group things close together that I know I like to wear together so we'll see how this goes I'm very excited I'm just really happy that it is it finally feels very like fresh and organized and not so overwhelming so we kind of like condensed into this wardrobe just like mostly one of most things obviously not like knitwear but you know, like my one key denim jacket and the rest are like in storage. For those of you who are new here, I have another wardrobe in my other room down there. And then I have um, also a storage facility, which I use for a lot of like summer clothes, that kind of thing. So yeah, the aim of this was basically just to have my key collection of clothes that I wear on a daily basis. And I think it's going to work out really well. I hope so anyway. So yeah, there's just less in this wardrobe. It's almost like an extended capsule wardrobe because I know capsule wardrobe systems are now thought of now as being like a 30 piece whatever. This is not that, but it's more of a capsule in terms of like, this is what I work from on a daily basis. And I'm really happy with it. I'm just seeing one of everything for the most part and I'm very happy with that. So 
yeah, we've got skirts, some there, and uh, then over here we have jeans and tops and bits like that. My hair stuff always sits down the bottom because I sit here and do my hair. And then over here I have some longer jackets because there's a bit more space here to work with. My laundry basket lives in my wardrobe because that's where I like it to be. I don't like it to be out. I think it looks a bit too messy because it's not like built into anything and there's not a ton of space. I don't really want to put it here. I don't really want to move my plant. I'm just happy with the setup. So <laughs> that lives in there much to Carla's sadness because she's like that takes up so much valuable space but um yeah i'm really happy with it and it gives a place for my coats to kind of sit on top of so i have two coats from last year here that i love i got these out of storage the other day i might get a couple more out of storage we'll see but these were the two well these were two that i knew i wanted and also this one you can see there's a color palette <laughs> just a little bit so yeah, these are from Misguided. I'm pretty sure they've done remakes of them this year, so I'll link below if you want to see. You'll see me wearing these coming up in videos. Black aviator jacket because that is just like a staple in my wardrobe and has been for many years now. My mango coat again. My black Zara unstructured coat. There's vibes. <laughs> Serious vibes. Um, yeah, and then as you will have seen from the other side, it goes into dresses in the middle. And we've put some of my like key dresses and like jumper dresses in with dresses that I don't wear so much just to remind me that they exist because sometimes it's easy to forget especially in this middle section of the wardrobe because it kind of gets a bit lost but yeah that is this kind of capsule wardrobe i'm gonna pan to here because i feel like it's weird when you can't see me but lots of people will define a capsule wardrobe very differently so i'm very hesitant to call this that but it's essentially how we're working and this is kind of how i want to work from now on just like working from uh, slightly less because the way my wardrobe was was not workable so yeah broken yeah wasn't even me been like this forever yeah i'm very very happy with it just looks so neat and tidy so happy with it and then i'll show you the other room just stepping over my work stuff from this morning so this is my party wear section of my wardrobe now it's basically just lots of my kind of like smarter clothing and more occasion wear bits things that i would just wear like in the evening lots of you will know if you do a capsule wardrobe system or you're just interested in it that you don't really like count occasion wear and because of that we just decided not to even keep it in the same space because i think that is quite overwhelming and you end up wearing things that are very evening appropriate during the day so yeah this is the kind of evening section of my wardrobe so we have it coordinated by color which i'm really happy with we have spare hangers some other jackets that are kind of i don't want them to go into storage but i also i'm just not ready to let them go they're down there and then we have suitcases which are now so much easier for me to get my hands on because they used to be up the top and that was impossible and then over here we have almost like the dress up section of the wardrobe so dresses that have been worn for special like work events or just like you know from shoots like this one that kind of vibe and just more special kind of dresses that aren't day dresses and um, things that you would wear to weddings like this i wore to victoria's wedding it's from self-portrait it's really beautiful this which i in Ibiza a lot it's just stunning again wore that to Victoria's wedding as well on the Sunday yeah and then a few other bits this is from a shoot so just like lots of shoot stuff and then like a personalized dressing gown which Benefit gifted me and then we have some bags up the top which are kind of they've been relegated into storage because I'm not using them so much and I want to see if I come back and reach for any of them and if I don't they gads to go and then we have my rail over here which hasn't changed very happy with it. I've got some extra bits in there today which aren't normally there, but yeah, really happy with that. I basically dress from this a lot, which inspired the kind of reorganisation of my wardrobe and things being put in storage because I was basically just coming in here and dressing most days because I enjoy dressing from a smaller section of clothing and I will still do that in a certain way because I like for new things to be on this rail so that I make sure I give them attention. But now I can actually work from both wardrobes, which I'm very, very happy about. And we also redid my what do you call this my bag and shoe wardrobe and i love it so we've got it almost to a one item per window system again because before i kind of built up a lot of shoes just like stacked next to each other and it just needed a bit of a like 
reorganize and I just think it looks super cute now. So yeah, it definitely helped that I relegated a couple of bags and put them back into the other wardrobe to see if they would get used. They're ones that I haven't touched in ages, so I think they might go on Depop at some point. But yeah, this is what remains and I'm very happy with it. Really like this middle section that's just like all my most worn or new bags. And I just love it. It just makes it really easy to grab and go without having to open doors so you can kind of see what I use the most just by looking at the wardrobe yeah really happy with that it's my new bag she's just chilling oh love it these two are like I love them so much at the moment also actually all of these to be honest but oh my little croc bag as well oh oh yeah I got my nails done I don't think I showed you will they focus there we go yeah, so it's like nude slash neutral, but make it autumn. Love it. I love it so much. It's all pretty. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a dog. He's a stitch. He's a stitch. Oh, should we get one for Nala? Oh. <laughs> about me wearing my Ariana Grande t-shirt. Yeah, really great. I'm sad that I don't have one. Oh, that wasn't how I wanted this to go. Oh. <laughs> Not sure if it's obvious enough where I'm going today. Saturday, first day in a while when I felt moderately human, which is amazing. I'm very happy. Also, I'm very happy because my skin looks great today. I have done my skincare routine. I've got SPF on because I had to go out in the outside. <laughs> Zero stars, do not recommend. But I'm really happy with it. It's one of the first mornings in a while that I've woken up and been like, yeah, I don't want to put makeup on this. And that is rare. Like this side of my face, it's just, I'm really happy with it. Like the texture is amazing. Super, super happy. Oh, I did a skincare routine this week. That was the one video that I managed to put out. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry because it wasn't my fault, but it's just very, very poorly and been moving very slowly. Oh my God, my voice, still, still not great. I've got a really bad headache today and my throat is just very tickly, but we're getting there. I have energy, some energy. It might help that I actually had nine hours sleep, which is probably the first time this month. So. Feeling really good. Actually, I did have one day this week where I felt really good. And then it all went downhill after like three hours. I burnt out all my energy really, really quickly and I was dead. But yeah, so have a skincare routine that I have this week. I would love it if you could go and watch it. Skincare routines never get as much love as everything else, but I know you all ask for them. I swear to God, it's just YouTube and they don't put it in your sub boxes. There's probably a word in that info box that means it's not being pushed out. I need to check it. But whatever, the skincare routine is there for you guys. You've been asking for it for ages, it is there. So yeah, did that this week. I feel like this week has just been a bit of a blur. What have I done? So Thursday, Thursday, was it Thursday? Thursday, we saw Ariana Grande, me and Lauren went up to London. We got tickets ages and ages ago, back when the October dates were released. And I'm 
terrible at getting tickets the pressure gets to me i never get the right thing i think because we were trying to get four tickets at the time and you know that time that you spend pressing the increase button on the amount of people you want you lose it you need to just do two at a time which lauren did and we got tickets and she was very nice and took me out of our, all of our friendship group and i was like thanks hey thanks still i'm gonna well up yeah so i was really really happy like i saw her at coachella and i thought that was like that was it i had made it i was super super happy and then the second time i was like this is just like this is unnecessary i'm just being greedy now oh my throat so yeah i was super super excited we went up to the o2 just had a really nice time and we were standing at the back of the crowd because neither of us like to fight big groups of people just to see a really tiny human being on stage and a guy came up to us and asked if we wanted to go to golden circle and i was like yes yes i do yes like who would say no to that who would actually say no so yeah he slapped some silver wristbands on us and sent us on our merry way and i honestly i was crying i met a viewer hi if you're watching i was literally like she said hi and i was just like hi i'm so sorry i'm literally like my face is streaming <laughs> it was a lot but i just had the best time and the vocals were amazing like so i would highly recommend any artist that you like for their vocals don't see them at like coachella or a festival because the audio experience is just not the same it was incredible like vocals on point like she is just the cutest human being i died of happiness and i couldn't sleep when we got home we got home from london i think it was about one or two in the morning and i just couldn't sleep i was literally like so overwhelmed so happy so yeah it was like honestly more than i could have asked for it was so great so yeah that was thursday friday i went up to london for a two-faced brunch which was really really lovely and then spent hours getting home as you do when you commute from brighton to london it's meant to take an hour and it doesn't but yeah that's been my week since i feel like i vlogged last i'm gonna round this up quickly because my voice is going and it's actually like sending my eye watery but today on the agenda is watch some more of the society on netflix because i'm really really enjoying it and i started watching it last night and i'm like halfway through season one already and then my friend brooke is coming over to have her makeup done for a party she's going to and i'm also gonna tan and do some milk prep so that is what we are doing today I'm gonna go now because I can't stop coughing. Right, I thought I was better, I'm clearly not better. So I'm currently having a little sort out of lots of my PO box stuff from basically the past couple of months, sorting it into various bags and I feel like I've just undone half the work that I originally intended to do but we're making progress very very slow progress I'm kind of like sorting into things for my immediate makeup bag things <laughs> for my kit because obviously Brooke is coming and she has like a specific kind of look in mind so I'm like sectioning things away for that look but then also just some things to pop in my kit so I've got like a load of Kat Von D powders look at the state of my hand I need to sort this because I'm wearing white and this is dangerous but yeah lots of powders in different shades which is really fortunate that I've been sent those because actually it makes my life so much easier when friends come and have their makeup done they don't have to bring things fresh mascaras usually I just kind of use the mascaras on my friends but I send them home with a mascara and yeah a lot of red lipsticks because that's what she wants to go for more powders primers lighter foundations because a lot of my friends are a bit fairer than me so yeah this is going in my kit and then i have a little section that is also for me on the other side and then i also found this if anyone is ever wondering at what stage you throw a lipstick away <laughs> this is it yeah this is the point in which lipsticks should be thrown away that is disgusting this is max patisserie i haven't touched it in years and opened it up today and i was like okay cool you need to go now just having some cereal before Brooke gets here and it's just so nice in here at the moment like the light is really nice it's making me really happy you can't really see very well but it's just like i don't know it's a really nice sunny day and there's like a nice glow in the room it's making me happy i've got my kit over here which i'm going to sit down with now and sort this out i get a lot of questions on this whenever it kind of pops up in videos this is a press gift from dior so they sent like literally every foundation shade physically imaginable in this and i keep lots of like 
hair bits in it for when I do hair looks, like combs and things like that, brushes that are spare that I don't use on myself. Yeah, and I need to go through it because it, I haven't gone through this since um, Bright and Pride when I last did people's makeup and it's a mess. So I wanna get this sorted. Well, I feel like I've over-egged this because there are a lot of lip products here and also a lot of foundations and then more mascaras than I could ever need. I'm pretty sure this isn't even all of them. There's definitely some more hiding somewhere in here. It's a lot. I'm gonna get this all in here somehow. I will. I will, I will. That was really enjoyable until I realized I missed a brush because it was holding my camera up. Curses. So in here we have, I kind of tried to do this by things that I'll need first. So the first thing I do is obviously anti-back my hands. I also want to keep some cotton pads up here as well, just for taking makeup off. And then I've also got some hair clips that I can clip hair back. I've got the brushes, I've got any hair bits, just because I don't really have anywhere to keep these in my flat and this makes the most sense then we have liners of all kinds here she is she literally came in mid vlog <laughs> how you doing excited for my makeup. Okay, face. i'm so excited so we've got everything down here this has been organized i'm very happy right let's do this before give me a poke there we go beautiful love it here is our after complete with ring light which you can see <laughs> She's so cute! Meal prep is done. Still waiting on a few things to come out of the oven, but this is looking good. And that is about it for me tonight, so I'll be back with you in the morning. So I don't look cute, and all I'm doing is watching TV. So, no. <laughs>